Hello everyone, my name is iTechMan. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be converting a Raspberry Pi 3 into a uh, portable Nintendo Wi-Fi hotspot. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would you want to do something like that? That makes no sense. Why would you want to make a Nintendo hotspot? Well, if you're someone like me who doesn't actually get out very often and, you know, takes their 3DS with them and find that, uh, you know, you don't really street pass as often as you really want to. Like you want to go, the only place you actually go and get a lot of street pass is like big conventions like PAX or San Diego Comic Con or you know anime conventions or whatever and even still sometimes you know you're just focused solely on your 3DS all the time I mean I know I am and I've got like over 3,000 street passes but anyways this project is more designed for the people that aren't really like you know that can't get out or don't go to those conventions as often but really want to start doing more with their street passes or getting more involved in the online um, you know, portion of the Nintendo network. So we're going to take a Raspberry Pi 3 and we're going to put, uh, make it think or spoof the uh, Nintendo protocol so that way it can basically talk to our Nintendo 3DS and we're able to receive street passes and get all the goodies that we want to get without actually having to leave the comfort of our own home. Isn't that exciting? Let's get started. So the image that I'm gonna be using is actually down in the description down below. I'm gonna upload it to my uh, downloader site and you can go ahead and download it and extract it yourself. But once you have that image, uh, all you have to do is simply just extract it to your desktop. I have it right here, it's called Raspi Pi. And get the Win32 disk imager or if you're using a Mac, it'll probably be, um, I think it's like bake bake raspberry pi something like that i don't remember anyways um i'll have a link on the description down below as well for these applications uh you're going to select the image by going to in my case the desktop i hit this little button right there and we're going to double click on uh, raspberry pi pass and we're going to hit right and say yes now this raspberry image is designed solely for a raspberry pi 3 now what that means is that if you have a Raspberry Pi 2, it won't work because the Raspberry Pi 3 has already has a built-in Wi-Fi chip. So all you need is just the Raspberry Pi 3 and a standard SD card. That's it. After that, it's as simple as plugging it into your network, turning it on, and you're practically done. And speaking of practically done, our image has been successfully written. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit OK and then exit. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take out, of course, the you know chip and put it into our Raspberry Pi. Once it's in the Raspberry Pi, go ahead and power it on, but make sure that it also has a wired LAN connection in the Raspberry Pi. After that, go ahead and just give it a little bit of time to boot up, give it like about 60 seconds. Once it's fully booted up, then you can go ahead on your local desktop computer, make sure it's in the same network though, and just type in Raspberry Pass slash in your web browser and what will happen is it's going to bring up the Raspi Pass uh, web user interface now this is where you get to modify it a little bit like say if you're not in the United States you're like in some other part of the world or in Zimbabwe or uh, the Ukraine or United Kingdom wherever this applies for any location because basically it spoofs your local like McDonald's Best Buy's um, all the other different places where you're able to do street pass communication with the Nintendo network. Now, what I like to do is you have to, it'll run every so many minutes, basically a new spoofed location. And that's, this is basically a, a nice way as far, as far as an extra layer of security, because you don't want to always have this constantly going because it'll actually be a back door into your network technically. So what I do is, uh, since I only turn it on whenever I want to use it, I increase the probability chance to 100% and I have it go every six minutes. I'm gonna save and write the config. Now what that means basically is that every time, every six minutes, it's gonna basically uh, rebroadcast or re reuse some numbers in the um, in its own little database. And you can see here the StreetPass AP, uh, APs that it'll just be uh, spoofing all these different ones from AT&T or from you know McDonald's or from Nintendo Sport, Spot Pass or Bell Wi-Fi or Best Buy even. And I mean, there's a bunch of other little things you can do in here in the, under the admin section. You can actually start the service manually, but I'm gonna go into login or the log viewer so we can actually see what's happening. And like I said, it's very simple. We're done practically. All we have to do now is just wait for us to receive street passes on our 3DS. So that's how you make a Raspberry Pi into a Nintendo spoof uh, Raspi Pass. So thank you very much everyone for watching. If you liked that video, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. And that's all for this episode. And if you enjoyed it, then thanks.
Perhaps you'd like to see some of my other videos. I've talked about many other topics on this particular subject. Or stay tuned. There's new videos every Monday and Thursdays here on High Tech Man. And as always, thank you very much for watching.